Welcome y'all, Wes with DIY Food Plot Pro. Thanks for joining us. Today, we're talking about how much fertilizer do we have left on these plots? Failed food plots because of the drought. I'm standing in one of my standing corn food plot that I planted this spring. Out here doing just a little bit of checking. Pulled one off for you to be able to see around a 10 inch ear out here. It looks good and I've got five acres in this particular plot, but I know a lot of you don't have this. So I wanted to touch on this. So we're going into fall and we want to know how much fertilizer is left in that field for us to be able to feed our fall based food plots. It's been a brutal summer. It's been hot and dry for a lot of the US. And when we're going into these fall food plots, if you went ahead and you tried to raise a standing corn food plot or a soybean food plot, you might be wondering how much fertilizer is left do I need to add more fertilizer this fall? And so we're going to go through this and I'm going to tell you all about fertilizer that's in your soil and whether you need to add more or not. If you tried to raise something like soybeans to where you added a lot of the P and the K, but you didn't add any nitrogen and then you're switching to brassicas, if you had a failed food plot attempt, likely because of drought this year, your soybeans didn't make any nitrogen for the ground. They didn't leave any nitrogen in the ground because it's a failed food plot. So we're going to have to add a full range of nitrogen in those soybeans. So 75 to 100 pounds of nitrogen for a brassica, 30 to 50 pounds for a cereal grain. Now, if we had a corn plot and we were trying to raise a standing corn plot and it failed because of drought and we added the full amount of fertilizer that I recommended, which is 130 to 150 pounds of nitrogen. And then you had your P and your K that I recommended. Your P and your K is still in the soil. That's a great thing. You just put it in the bank for another year. So you've still got that. You haven't lost that at all. It is still sitting there in the soil. And like anything in this inflation economy, it's probably going to be more expensive next year than it was this year. So it's a good thing that you just went ahead and put that in the bank. If you were dry enough for your corn plot to completely fail and not make anything, then your nitrogen is still in the soil. Nitrogen is mobile in the soil, which means it moves through the soil profile, it leaches out, and it can be gone with heavy amounts of rain. But if you have been dry all summer, you have the nitrogen in your soil to go ahead and raise all of your brassicas and your cereal grains, no problem whatsoever. So if you're wanting to switch to those, no fertilizer needed, go ahead and roll on with it uh, and you'll be just fine. Okay, now worst case scenario is if you had a corn plot, standing corn plot, you added all of the fertilizer that I recommended and you were dry through May, June, and parts of July, and then all of a sudden now we're getting tons and tons of rain, some of your nitrogen is gonna be gone through leaching, through those heavy rainstorms. Likely you are still going to to have enough to be able to raise your brassica plot definitely going to have enough to go ahead and put your cereal grains and, and carry them through you're you're going to have 30 to 50 pounds easy if you put 130 to 150 pounds like i recommended you're not going to have to add any for the cereal grains and likely not for the brassicas either what i would tell you to do would be to watch that plot once you get it established and you're sitting there watching this stuff grow if you start seeing it start turning a yellowish color. At that point, you need to go back in and put a little bit of urea or ammonia nitrate over the top of that brassica. It's not going to hurt it. Might burn it a little bit, but it's not going to kill that plant. And then go ahead and get your nitrogen back up. And it won't take a whole lot just to keep you going of, of good, vigorous growth all the way up into the hunting season. So if you've had a failed food plot attempt this year, then you think, oh my gosh, I'm out thousands of dollars in fertilizer and lime. You're really not because you put that in the soil bank, essentially, you put all your P and all your K and your lime, that's going to start changing the soil for the better and your plots are gonna be better off in the future for that, okay? You've essentially put all that fertilizer in a bank. That's all you've done. And so you haven't wasted that fertilizer. You're gonna be able to get that fertilizer used. It's just a matter of it, whether it be this fall or next spring, you're gonna be able to use it. The only thing that we're really out of is our chemicals, our seed and our nitrogen. But if it stayed dry all summer and it's dry enough that our food plot failed, then likely most of your nitrogen is still there as well. So you're not even out that and you're going to get to raise your your fall food plots on essentially just your seed and your time. That's all you're really going to spend this fall and you're going to be able to see what your food plots look like when you put the proper amounts of fertilizer on these and they are absolutely getting it and you're going to see this dark green brassica. Holy cow, this looks like it looks on TV right here with all that extra nitrogen out there and you're going to be shocked how fast 
your brassicas, how fast your cereal grains are going to grow this fall because of all that extra fertilizer that you have in the soils. Don't uh, don't take it too hard, guys. It happens. It's just part of it. Mother Nature's cruel at times. She didn't give all of us the rain that we needed to be able to make successful food plots this year. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Smash that like and subscribe button if you hadn't already.